Good morning, guys, and happy July 3rd to all of your sunshiny faces. Guys, it's Monday, and I've got two hooligans out here that I've got on their leash that are being a little crazy right now. Charlie, you're stuck again. You haven't gotten stuck, actually. It's been mainly Bravo. But, um, yeah, they're both out here running around like little crays. You guys are crazy, I swear. And over here, we've got Dad, who is grilling some bacon on the new cast iron griddle. Some bacon, and Blissy and Ike are also both out here. And then we also got some eggs that we're gonna do on the grill, too. So we're grilling for, I told you guys, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All three days, for three days, Bliss. What do you think? What do you think, that there's two puppies out here? What, what kind of craziness is this? You want to play with them on the side? I am going to actually take a shower and head to bed. So, <laughs> yeah guys, I didn't record a whole lot today. Um, other than pretty much this morning. We actually ended up not grilling pretty much at all the rest of the day either. Um, well, yeah, actually we didn't, other than breakfast, we didn't grill at all. Because we actually went to the parade today. Um, which is like, not the our town's parade but one over where my grandma used to live like a long time ago she lived well she actually lived there pretty much ever since i was born but she lived in like i don't know if one of the houses the first house that i remember her ever living at like when i was first born but at least two of the houses or apartments like condos she lived in after that um she lived in this town and so pretty much and like even my great grandparents too before that um ended up living in this town and so like we went to this parade pretty much ever since i was little and so um we ended up going there today which i didn't even tell you guys about and i did record um like one snippet the thing was to um last year at the parade i think i recorded the jesse white tumblers and they were maybe last year or the year before that i don't remember they're like normally like the best part of like the parade at least in my opinion because for the most part like you get some people that like some floats or like you know like people that are in the parade that you're like oh like it's kind of cool or whatever but there's never anything that's like super I don't know, like a float that you're just like, wow, that's so cool. Or like anything that's just like amazingly awesome. Like normally it's like somebody for like a church or like a hair place or, you know, like a local store or something like that. And like they just have like a group of people and stuff like that. And they're like handing out stuff and giving out candy and stuff like that. And so it's like when I was little, I appreciated it more because like, you know, I got candy. <laughs> but now it's like the floats like aren't like... I don't know it just like people don't really seem to like I don't there's nothing that just like catches my attention where I'm like oh my gosh that's so stinking cool like with the exception of the Jesse White tumblers and then also to right after them they had these crazy cool dudes on bicycles that were doing these crazy tricks they had this one guy who looked like he he had like gray hair like he looked actually pretty old and he was doing these crazy tricks on a bicycle where he actually literally only had his hands on the front like uh, of the steering the, the the handlebars and didn't like wasn't touching the rest of the bike it was so crazy and unfortunately though it actually was rainy we weren't gonna go then we ended up going like last second um because it looked like it was gonna rain it actually did rain kind of like on the parade so literally rained on our parade today guys but um it ended up like kind of raining so I brought my umbrella and I had it out so then I put my camera and my phone away in my purse so they wouldn't get wet and unfortunately I wasn't thinking like oh I should pull them out or whatever but I did get one clip of this really cool guy though he was on this like like I don't know I think all the like gymnastics and tumbling people and stuff like that they're so cool but there's so many like there's like normally like two or three different types of bands or like you know different like people singing and stuff like that or like you know so there's just a lot of like I like the music aspect to it but like you know them like I don't know I expect to see like a float or something like that and then there's really no like float it's like a car decorated or something like that and I mean I'm not expecting it to be like you know Thanksgiving Day Parade and you know some crazy stuff going on or whatnot but like you know I just like the creative things and you know stuff like that like some of them were okay like they caught my attention or I was like oh that's cool or that's funny or whatever um but for the most part I don't know like 
I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm kind of out growing parades. Where I'm like, these aren't even like super entertaining for me to watch either. And like, I don't know, again too, because I'm not into whole candy thing anymore. Like not even Jack didn't even care about candy this year. Um, and neither did Matthew, so he isn't for a while. But anyways, so guys, yeah, the one clip, the dude, okay, so let me explain the clip to you guys. The dude was like on this like thing, and obviously you guys will see it. But it was crazy, the stuff he was doing, it was like circ Cirque du Soleil stuff, I think that's how you say it. But it was like crazy cool. And like, um, the one part I actually stopped recording right when he did this, it was like, when he was going on the thing, he actually held onto it and went completely down. Like, his face was like almost on the ground, but like on the bars. Um, it was so cool, guys. So. That's what we ended up doing today, guys, going to the parade and whatnot, but we didn't end up grilling. I actually had luckily thrown ribs in the crock pot earlier today and didn't end up, we were going to grill and then we ran out of time because my dad had therapy today. So anyways, long story short, guys, um, we didn't really grill today, <laughs> but I guess we can do that the other day. And then also too, I didn't share with you guys either the cast iron um, stuff that we ended up getting. We actually ran to Menards like this morning and picked this up. Now these were $25. I think they're normally $35 but they're on sale. And this one is like a griddle and then on the other side it actually has like the um, I don't know if you guys can really tell but it's got the like grill thing. They're so stinking heavy guys. So um, that's what we ended up getting. We used this and then I just like re-seasoned it or like sort of seasoned it. Just put olive oil and washed it down with a paper towel and olive oil. And then this is the other thing that we ended up getting and this is actually a Dutch oven but the thing is it's actually also a pot and a skillet separate so it's actually like a two-in-one kind of thing the both of them were like this one was two for one because it was a skillet and a griddle a grill and then this one is the Dutch oven the pot and then also to the um, the skillet separate as well so those we got for $25 each, again, normally like $35, but I always know people are always talking about cast iron and how it lasts for like an eternity and how it's so crazy good and everything like that. I mean, it's, it's as long as you take care of it, like there's a lot of upkeep. Like for us, we probably replace our pots and pans like with the normal enamel stuff every handful of years because it's old, it wears, tears, rusts, you know, all that kind of stuff cast iron is supposed to pretty much last your entire life <laughs> so um you know if you take good care of it but that's kind of the problem is that it is a little bit more of an upkeep and since it is a little bit more money um you know you obviously don't want that going down the drain but like we paid probably like 25 dollars or whatever 50 maybe for like our whole set of pots and pans a long time ago at like walmart or something um probably like a handful of years ago and honestly too i mean they're starting to wear and tear and they probably do need to be replaced so yeah, the pro only problem is though they're exp ex know, extremely heavy, um, which was kind of the problem. But I was able to wash them, get them clean and everything like that, and just take, you know, again, trying to take good care of them because I do want them to last for a while. Only problem, guys, no clue on earth where we're going to put them, where we're going to store them or anything, which could kind of be a problem because, you know, we kind of need to do that. I was kind of thinking we can keep them, like, because I know a lot of people store stuff in, like, their broiler section or whatever, and that it's okay because, you know, it can be exposed to broiler heat and stuff like that, and not that we'd leave it in there when we were broiling or anything like that, but just, like, you know, that, that heat because we store on our our stove it's got um this storage thingy next to it which is actually full of other things the other um dutch oven that i've actually never used before and all of the lids for the pots and pans because all of our pots and pans obviously are all up here so we really don't have anywhere to store them other than down there so that's like super convenient to have but yeah i'm not really sure where we're gonna store them because they're super super heavy and like I don't want to store them up too high because I mean if you accidentally knock it down like you're gonna get knocked out <laughs> because it is heavy um like especially the Dutch oven like well I mean I don't know if, even if it's as heavy as the griddle I think the griddle's heavier but the Dutch oven like since it's in two separate pieces like I feel like it's a, a lot easier for it to fall off somehow or you know something like that so yeah, we're going to have to figure out somewhere, somewhere to put it. But anyways, so guys, it is actually a little after midnight. 
unfortunately I wanted to at like a, a little after 11 o'clock I was like okay, I'm gonna go take a shower and head to bed and it took me like an hour tonight to actually do the blog post because I completely forgot about it and I had to do that for work today and so I totally spaced out it was like the last couple days too I've been so tired like really early and so I've been just yeah I need to go take a shower so guys and I had to bed because I was literally doing it and I started falling asleep I was like did I put a link in there and I was like oh no I don't think I did and I think honestly I don't even know I might have like ended up screwing something up because of how tired I am right now and it's not good but at least it's done now I don't have to worry about doing it after I get out of the shower I just get out of the shower and then go to bed because again I'm tired guys um but tomorrow yeah more 4th of July footage stuff and things like that today I wasn't even really dressed for the 4th of July I wasn't even thinking like we're going to the parade but I my mom got me a like this new kind of tank top like a 4th of July like a flag kind of print on it um like I think just at like Walmart or something like that and she got one for me and her and so she was wearing hers and she ended up changing to something else i cannot find mine for the life of me so i've got no clue where it is and so i just i'm going to wear my same old old navy one that i wear every single fourth of july um that i literally probably only wear like once or twice a year which is like fourth of july and maybe one other holiday or something like that but i've had the thing for like several years but when you only wear it like a couple times throughout the year like it's still actually in really good condition so I don't mind but I have no clue where on earth like I just did all the laundry and I have no clue where it is and obviously it's not in my bedroom because my bedroom there's nothing in there other than paint which we didn't end up painting because we were gone at the parade and stuff like that today so um but maybe because we'll be home tomorrow like because Matthew has to go back to two he'll start two days next week so like we gotta get the room done like by this week and for sure guys i didn't even want it to take this long but it is because life is just kind of in the way here <laughs> like things keep happening you know it's holidays and stuff so anyway so guys i'm going to go take a shower and head to bed if you guys did enjoy today's vlog though make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys